Good morning, this is Michelle. And this is Abby. And today I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm getting Abby to love her crate. So I'm crate training Abby so that she, you know, is more reliable as far as potty training. And she always has a safe space to go to when we're traveling or in the car or if I have to board her, it'll just be less stressful. I think crate training is a great way to, um, a great skill for every dog to have. So this is how I'm doing These it. are a few things that I'm using for today's session. And this is what I use to help her um, get used to her crate. So we have her kibble portioned out. She got two cups today. And then we have a whole cup of training treats. Um, this is basically her food allowance for today. A clicker, I use this to mark the correct behavior that I want. And I have a puppy Kong here. She's not a big chewer, so that should be good enough for her and she should not be tearing that apart. So these are the four things that I'm gonna be using to help Abby love her crate and to aid in her crate training. So I threw some treats in there to get her in there at first. What I'm doing is I'm clicking the initial going into the crate and then after that I'm going to treat every time I open the door. Every time I close the door I am going to latch the door um, latch so that she can start pairing the latching of the door with the high reward treats. For these treats I'm using the dried um, liver and dried rabbit and dried salmon so the very high value treats are used in the crate so that we can build value for being in there. Yes, good girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For the second round, I'm just going to increase the difficulty a little bit. I'm going to change my body position and move around the crate a little bit just so that she can get uh, used to some variety. Even though I'm not sitting right in front of the crate, uh, I still expect her to stay into the crate until released. Also, I have done this um, every day since I've gotten her. So I did this the first day. This is the fourth day of me doing it. So she's kind of gotten the use to it now. She kind of goes in and offers the behavior of going into the crate on her own, which is awesome. So this is not just a one-time thing. You need to be consistent with this. And I've done it every day and she is showing great progress. So as you can probably tell, I'm not saying any verbal cues when I'm working with her. I just only had her for four days, so I wanna make sure she knows the behavior of sit and down before I start adding a verbal cue so that it's more likely she can make the association and not get it mixed up. So when I went for the treat that time, she didn't realize that I was still working with her. So instead she offered to go into the crate. At first, I was going to try to bring her back out to work with her, but I decided to reward her choosing to go into the crate and then call her out once I rewarded her and continue our session. So I squish this all together. There's rice, kibble, toss a little bit of her treats in there, and then I spoon it in. So I loosely pack this. And then I make sure like the pieces of chicken are kind of sticking out at the end. 
just because she is not used to working with this toy to get her food. I usually hand feed her, which has, you know, made our bond better and made her better at responding at me, but she still is not used to like working out of this thing for her food. So I packed it very lightly and then I have the chicken sticking out so that it'll be more enticing for her to work. Okay, come on, come on. I waited 10 minutes to remove the Kong, then I set up for the next part of our morning session. I went to get her bed and found How this. Get up there? What are you doing? Off. Crazy. Come on. In here. That's your spot. Good girl. So same rules as before, we just introduced a new variable, her bed, so that she can run from her kennel to her bed. As you can see, her enthusiasm kind of increased as the game went on, and she got better at going from her kennel to her bed. This really started to build value for both her bed and her kennel, so that anytime those things are available, she has a safe, comfortable place to rest. So those are a few of the things that I'm doing to get Abby to love her crate. Hey. I put some high value treats in the crate. All the treats that I treat in the crate are very high value. And then the treats that I treat on the bed are her normal kibble. So it really starts to build the value for the crate. Now she kind of offers to go in there by herself. Um, she's been here with me. Oh my goodness, baby, you are being bad for the camera, huh? <laughs> she's been here with me for about four days now and she's not been previously crate trained. So I think she's doing well. Um, some main things that I do are, you know, she does have some little puppy tantrums in the crate, cry a little bit, and I know I'm feeding her, I'm giving her water, I'm giving her plenty of exercise and attention, and I always take her out to the bathroom before I put her in the crate. So if those things are done, I make sure that uh, all of those things, all of her needs are met so that when she's in the crate, if she's crying, I know she's just going to be she's just being lonely or sad or whatever uh, emotion she's feeling in the crate. Basically, she's calling for me. So I just ignore her until she's quiet. And sometimes, you know, it might take two minutes. Sometimes it might take five. If you are gonna follow any of these techniques, just remember that every pup is different. She hasn't had any trauma with crates before. So if you get a rescue or some dog who has been scared with a crate, it might take a little longer. Um, yeah, but that was my video. This is Abby and thank you for watching. I hope, you know, some of these tricks can help you and your dog get better at crate training. He just woke up an hour ago. He's sleepy. <laughs> Good girl.